Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Glasses. This is my next video on the topic term symbols. And here in this video, I am going to discuss few previous year questions based on term symbols, right? So let's start with a video. The first question is, which I have selected from the question paper is, what is the atomic term symbol for helium atom with electronic configuration 1s2? So in my previous video i have given you the trick for this type of completely filled shell we are having the electronic configuration 1s0 so c will be the answer for this question right i am also elaborating it for you so here are the some completely filled shells and for them i have written over here the term symbol few are the examples which are having this completely filled shell and they are having this type of configuration helium is among them so this i have already discussed in detail in my previous video the link of that video i will give in the description box so you please go and check from there if you want to see it in detail right the next question is total number of energy levels contained in the term say 3f this is fine. So term is given 3F and number of energy levels has been asked. So some of the students get confused what is called term, what is called energy level, right? So before starting with the with the solution of this question, I am just elaborating the terms here. So here you can see this is the term and these are the levels in which the total angular momentum J participates. And these are the degeneracy or number of microstates you can say. And these number of microstates having value 2j plus 1. Here you can check for 2, it is 2j plus 1, right? So this many microstates for each level there. So this is very important to understand. So here what has been asked, number of energy levels means number of microstates has been asked. For this 3F term, so here we are going to calculate this. For 3F, we are having L is equal to 3 and S out of this 3, 2S plus 1 is equal to 3. So S will be equal to 1. So from this term, we have calculated the value of L and S. And the multiplicity can be calculated by two different manners. One is from this formula and the other method is by 2j plus 1 method. Okay? This method I will calculate or I will elaborate in my next slide. Right? So here I am not going to discuss this. Now as we know that L is 3 and S is 1. So we can simply calculate by putting these two values here in this equation. And we get 21 as the number of energy levels all together for a given 3F term. This I have discussed in D2 example where I have discussed all the microstates for D2 symbol, right? So this, these are the number of microstates which gives us a term symbol 3F. This can also be calculated by 2j plus 1. So how it can be done by this method? So here I am going to explain this for you. As we all know, so for this 3f, L is 3, S is 1. And how we are going to calculate j by using this L and S? So L plus S to L minus S differing by 1. So first I will put L plus S. So 3 plus 1 will give me 4. And then L minus S. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So 4 minus 1 will give me 3 and 3 minus 1 will give me 2. No other value will exist. On putting all these values of j in the formula 1 by 1, then we are getting for 4, we are getting 9. For 3, we are getting 7. And for 2, we are getting 5. On adding all these 3, we will get 21. Right? So this is how one can calculate by this 2j formula as well as by 2l plus 1 and 2s plus 1 formula. One of the excited state of titanium has the electronic configuration argon 4s2, 3d1, 4p1. The number of microstates with zero total spin s for the configuration is, right? So 
what has been asked first you will see the excited state electronic configuration which is given over and the second thing which you are going to check number of microstates as soon as you see the number of microstates you simply memorize the formula yes number of microstates for d and b so if you go with this you will be missing the statement right so here the statement is given as number of microstates with zero total spin so this is the hint which is given over here zero total spin so, so here i am just telling you how we are going to calculate so first write the electronic configuration this is completely filled and argon is the noble gas configuration this is not participate and this is also not participate now we are going to consider these two non equivalent electrons right so for first electron we are just going to calculate l1 and for second electron we are going to calculate l2 so for this d we are having 2 and for this p we are having 1 on adding we are getting the capital l that is total orbital angular momentum so here l1 plus l2 to l1 minus l2 mode right differing by 1 so l1 plus l2 gives me 3 l1 minus l2 will gives me 1 and in between differing by 1 we are having value 2 so we are having three different values of l now coming to the s so s is equal to s1 plus s2 to s1 minus s2 right so what is s1 s1 is 1 by 2 because one electron is there and what about s2 s2 is again 1 by 2 so on adding these two we will get 1 and on subtracting these two we are getting 0 and in between there is no value other value differing by 1 right 1 minus 1 we will get 0 right so what has been asked with total spin 0 this is the question so for this value of s we have to calculate for all three l values or we can simply calculate j is equal to l plus s to l minus s and in this manner what you will get value of j that will be 3 2 and 1 on calculating 2j plus 1 what we will get we will get 7 5 and 3 and on adding all these three values what we will get we will get 15 so 15 will be the answer so this is this is the 15 15 will be the answer if we will go with this formula then what we will get for d1 it is factorial 10 divided by 1 factorial and number of holes number of holes is 10 minus 1 right factorial that is 9 factorial we will get 10 and for p1 we will get 6 6 factorial divided by 1 factorial divided by 5 factorial right and get 6 so on multiplying these two we will get 60 so for all spins then we will get 60 and if it is asked for zero total spins then only 15 will be the value so this is how you have to calculate the number of microstates so now coming to the next question the term symbol for the ground state of a metal is 3p2 the residual entropy for the crystal of metal at 0 kelvin is what right so for this which is given over so for this term 3p2 we are having the values of l is equal to 1 for this p for s for this 3 2s plus 1 we are getting s is equal to 1 and j is given over here 2 right so here the multiplicity of the state is 2j plus 1 as i told you earlier so here the 2j plus 1 j values are there and corresponding to each j value we are having number of micro state and on adding all these micro states we will get the term right so here we are having 2j plus 1 multiplicity of the state or number of micro states and on putting the value of j here so j is given over here so j is 2 so 2 into 2 plus 1 will gives us 5 and the residual entropy of a system is or a crystal is given by the 
kb is the boltzmann constant ln is the natural law into multiplicity of the state so what is the multiplicity of the state multiplicity of the state is 5 so on putting the value of this multiplicity of the state kb ln 5 is the answer this is given over here c is the answer right so this is how you can calculate now the next question is the ground state term symbol for niobium atomic number is 41 is d6 right this is the term symbol ground state term symbol the electronic configuration corresponding to this term symbol is so this is how you are going to solve this for niobium the atomic number is 41 and its ground state term symbol is this right how you are going to calculate the electronic configuration corresponding to this so the trick which will works over here is n plus 1 n means number of unpaired electrons here so five unpaired electrons must be there right so first you have to go and check what is the where we are having the five unpaired electrons so here this s orbital is completely filled three are the unpaired electrons so it will not be the answer Again, this is fine it is having d5 config d5 configuration but for half filled configurations we are having s is the term symbol right so this will again not work over here only these two are left now coming to the d3 s1 p1 if we are having d3 and p1 then we are not end up with the d term symbol right here you just see we will end up with the f term symbol so this will again not work and this will be the correct answer if we just simply solve this by seeing the question now i am just going to elaborate it here so if i am having d4 configuration so you just write down in this manner one two three and four and here is the s1 configuration for this we are writing ml plus two plus one zero minus one minus two so from here what we are getting we are getting the plus 2 for this we are having 0 right so l1 is 2 and l2 is 0 fine if you have question from where this plus 2 comes so here you just add these l values of given electrons right so plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 2 so l1 plus l2 will gives us capital l because it is 0 so here the capital l will be equal to 2 so corresponding to this 2 we what we are having we are having d value d term now coming to the s states so s is equal to how many unpaired electrons are there so we are having five unpaired electrons so capital S is equal to 5 by 2. Okay. And 2s plus 1 is the multiplicity. So 2s plus 1 will give us 2 into 5 by 2 plus 1 will give us 6. So 6D is the term symbol for this given electronic configuration.